What's going on guys, Jeff here for Premium Aquatics and today we're going to be taking a look at the HANA Instruments Check Temp and Check Temp 1. I hope everybody is having a fantastic day and if you're new to what we're doing here, this is where we take a look at new products each and every week to help you make an informed decision on what is right for you, your reef tank, and your budget. And this week we're going to be taking a look at the HANA Instruments Check Temp and Check Temp 1. So let's jump into it. What's going on folks? So today we have a new product for you. We're going to be taking a look at the HANA Instruments Check Temp 1 as well as the HANA Instruments Check Temp. Very similar items that we have here. Uh, and I think whatever one that you were going to select uh, would be based upon your individual needs. Very important when we are talking about reef keeping that we look at redundancy and having redundancy in the way in which that you measure uh, temperature within your reef tank is very important. I think these devices are going to be extremely useful for individuals that are working in aquaculture, uh, that are shipping corals, or transporting corals. And I think this is going to be uh, some products that are going to be extremely beneficial to those types of people, but also the redundancy aspect of having the ability to verify if your thermometer on your aquarium is correct. The one thing about these devices is they are extremely accurate. They're actually, both of them are 0.5 degrees Fahrenheit, one way or the other. And that's pretty accurate when it comes to temperature readings. So let's open these guys up, take a look at them. First we're going to open up the check temp one. Both these devices, as you can kind of see, looking at the cases, are kind of different in the way in which they look, uh, but they're going to operate pretty similar to one another. Uh, the check temp one requires three AAA batteries. And you have this soft silicone cord that connects to the temperature probe. Um, and then you have the actual device. I wonder if it has batteries in it. Nice. Nice. We'll get into that a little bit more detail here in a second. And then we have the original. There we go. The original check temp. Make sure you always read your instructions manual. It's very important. Uh, prior to operation is going to give you a lot of information that you need to know. The accuracy is pretty phenomenal. Uh, so it's either plus or minus 0.5 degrees Fahrenheit on the accuracy, which is uh, just about as spot on as you can get. Now I talked about a little bit in the beginning of the video um, that I think that this is going to be uh, devices that are very helpful for people in aquaculture. And I think anybody that's doing any type of um, live food rearing, you're able to sanitize it uh, effectively and be able to get accurate temperature readings on whatever you are aquaculturing. I also think for folks that are delivering coral uh, that this is a device that's going to be pretty helpful as well because quite often when we ship corals we use those styrofoam coolers and you know you need to be able to verify what the temperatures are holding on the inside and having something like this you're able to penetrate the styrofoam cooler and have a really good idea as to what that cooler is setting at. Just last week I shipped a gentleman some corals uh, to his job which he has an awesome enough boss to allow coral shipments to come to his place of work um, but he used a temperature probe the entire day uh, to make sure that those corals were sitting at the appropriate temperature and with the HANA temp check you actually have the ability to check the inside temperature of the cooler without even opening it. So you don't have to worry about uh, letting out too much cool air or letting in too hot of air or what have you. You can just get that reading as long as you don't poke a bag. If you know your corals are in a specimen container, that's probably gonna be the best bet to use something like that. But right now what we're gonna do is we're going to um, change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. When you first turn on your probe, it's gonna say 
C-A-L and then zero. Once it does that, it's perfectly fine. But you'll see that it is actually reading in Celsius. So right here, you open up the back and there's this little button right there that you can see that's kind of hidden a little bit. It's a little black button. It's kind of hard to see in this light, but basically all you have to do is just hit that button and you hit this front button and then it went from Celsius to Fahrenheit and then we're going to hit the button again and then it's gonna go through its auto shutoff so right now the auto shutoff is at eight minutes you can choose between eight minutes and 60 minutes we're gonna go ahead and leave it alone so right now currently uh, the air temperature let's see if it draws down a little bit it's pretty warm in here I guess but this is the fish tank room so all right it's gonna drop down pretty quick that's pretty fast as far as it's uh, adjusting its temperature so um, it's already on Fahrenheit we're good to go we have it set on the eight minute uh, shutoff time there we go. all right so I got that back in there uh, as you can see that the temperature is dropping pretty quick pretty simple uh, device here you with the temp check uh, the original um, turn it on, runs to this program where it goes CL, then zero, and then it's ready to use at this point in time. As far as the probe goes, the recommended use of the probe, you only want to do like an inch and a half, uh, but you can go as far as the probe is long, but again, Hannah Instruments only recommends about an inch and a half of the tip of the probe is more than enough to get an accurate reading. So I'm going to shut that off. I like, I like this pretty handy, simple device. And you have um, a good amount of cord here. Uh, it's a soft silicone. This is definitely, um, I would say, a situation where you would probably be taking uh, multiple temperature readings and kind of having this this base unit sitting sitting down. All right, so we have the lid off. Our screws put off over here to the side and. Um, the reason why that they use screws and that there's gaskets on each individual screw is a gasket around where the door goes on completely and that is because this device is waterproof and that is the reason why it's kind of hard to get into the back of it so keep that in mind um, don't necessarily um, frown upon it just because it's hard to get into the back because ultimately it's to protect the device and make sure that it is waterproof so in the event that this were to fall in water, uh, it's not going to ruin the device. All right, so we're going to turn it on. It's going to go through its setup menu. Everything is good. We get our Celsius rating. We want to change that to Fahrenheit. So we're going to hit that button. We're on uh, Celsius. We want Fahrenheit. And then we got it set at 8. That's good enough for us. And we're good. So now the probe is now reading in Fahrenheit. And we're going to put this back together. Alright. So we're going to go. We're reading Fahrenheit. And we're good to check some temperatures. For the common everyday hobbyist, I think it is very important to have levels of redundancy in the way in which you keep a reef tank. And having a device such as the HANA Instruments Temp Check or Temp Check 1 is going to give you a little bit of added protection or the ability to make sure that your temperature probes, your uh, thermometers are reading accurately. These are both highly accurate devices and having them and being able to check a temperature quickly is going to definitely um, protect you and your reef tank in the long run. So if you want to check out the HANA Instruments Temp Check and Temp Check 1, there's going to be a link in the description below which will bring you to Premium Aquatics where you can do some more research or even pick one up for yourself. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that we upload a new video. That's going to do it for this one. I'll see you next time right here with a brand new video.